the scale of Third Avenue. So there's a real, a real change between um, uh, the scale south of 96th Street and um, north of 96th Street, where it's more of that tenement scale of building. And there has been new construction that's taken place uh, since the rezoning that, that I think it, um, has been seen as being positive for the neighborhood. A real notable example is that Hunter College has, is in the process of moving its school of social work uh, onto 3rd Avenue, just about um, 15 or so blocks north of here. So uh, a real um, benefit to the community. So uh, part of the reason I chose this particular location, I was talking about how community facilities uh, sometimes lead to the construction of taller buildings. And so we're actually standing beside the Islamic Center, which I think last year was part of the Open House New York program. Uh, this year, I'm, I'm not sure it is, but some of you all may know the schedule better than I do. So you'll see that it's directly beside a very, um, very large apartment building. And so as is often the case, um, there are deals that take place where um, uh, developers may help construct a uh, uh, institution or a um, nonprofit institution in order to get those development rights that come from the facility. Because of course the, uh, the apartments at the top of this building probably have incredible views of New Jersey Central Park and there's no high dollar real estate at those upper levels. So there are um, incentives on both sides uh, to, uh, to uh, construct at that, that level and, and strike these deals with community facilities. Something that we passed along the way, which uh, we won't go down in that direction, but it's kind of an interesting example. So we have um, several different um, uh, 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 public housing uh, developments in this location. Um, kind of in the midst of public housing, two blocks in that direction, is an old public school, which has been um, closed for, for many years. And um, that public school um, was uh, probably built around the turn of the, the 20th century. Um, uh, in the uh, early 1900s, and it's very similar to many other um, public schools of that era that we see. They were all built under the same uh, superintendent at that time. And so that, when so much work was taking place here, that particular school was, was spared, meaning it was seen as a, a real um, asset to the community, and so, but was, was closed subsequently sometime after. And so the building has been empty for some time, but uh, a developer is working with various nonprofit partners uh, to construct artist housing and, and artist studios in that public school. So um, I don't have the latest news on that particular development. I know it has taken a while, but um, eventually there will be, I think, a great resource for the community, just a couple of blocks here and a really fantastic uh, uh, historic structure. So uh, stay tuned for that. Maybe that'll be on next year's tour. So uh, unfortunately, currently, it's just a, a vacant building that's um, not really being used. So we'll walk down, really for the last stop on our tour before ice cream, 